Hi, it's Mr. Lake, and in this one I want to show you some of the basics of Mathematica. Here's a quick trick. If you type in capital MMA in a Mathematica notebook file, it'll automatically insert the word Mathematica. It's kind of the nickname of Mathematica, MMA. So that's just a quick trick for you. Mathematica files are called notebooks, and uh, you can see if I went up to make a new one, that's what it would say. In fact, if I save this file, call it the basics, you'll notice that the extension is .nb, stands for notebook file. Mathematica notebooks are broken up into sets of cells. And that's what this bracket thing over here is. To create a new cell, I can either click underneath and it makes a horizontal line, or I can hit the down arrow. And then when I start typing some text, here is a new section about shortcuts it's in blue. The blue means it's input text. Mathematica wants to know what we want this to do. Is this text an equation? Is it a new heading? Is it a bullet point? And so we can tell Mathematica by clicking on the cell, this little bracket over here, and then going up to Format, Style, and let's call this a section. Very nice. Say I want to add some bullet points under there. Our instincts are, uh, as we use word processors, to hit the enter key at the end of a line, but that stays in the same section. We don't really want to do that. We don't want to keep adding to this header. Instead, you'll get used to this over time, you'll hit the down arrow, and that will make a new section. Now I can start typing some more text. Uh, I can type command number equals style, and you can see it's got all this um, colorization going on. That's because Mathematica treats it as input text. But if I come over to Format, Style, and instead call this a subsection, it'll give it a little bullet. So let me try that with a shortcut key. If I go down and I hit Command-5, sure enough, it gives me another bullet. On a PC, this is Alt number to give me my style. And you can see all the different shortcuts that Mathematica has by coming over to the thing, and you can see in the menus uh, what all the shortcuts are. Another thing we can do in Mathematica is um, use that input text as an equation. If I go uh, down to this section, uh, why don't I make a new one with Command-4 on a PC, that would be Alt-4. Uh, this shows input text as math. Of course, Mathematica should be able to do math, and it does some incredible equations. We'll just go with the ba most basic one here. If I go down and I type in 2 plus 2, I want Mathematica to solve that problem. Well, if I hit the Enter key, as I said before, it just goes down to the next line. We don't want that. And if I hit the down arrow, it would go to a new cell. Instead, what I want to do is be in that cell and do what's called evaluate the cell. We could do it up here through the menu, but the best way to do it, the thing to get used to, is by hitting Shift Enter. If I hit Shift Enter, Mathematica will solve. Amazing, the answer is four. But of course, I can add all kinds of decimals and symbols and all kinds of things to that, and it will solve that just as easily. So uh, in the next couple lessons, you'll be seeing this in action, how to evaluate cells and use variables and formulas. The last thing I want to show you in this one is how to make this uh, look a little more attractive. Mathematica has a whole set of built-in style sheets. That's up under Format, Style Sheet. A common one that I use is Report, Standard Report. Sounds very boring, I know. But it, it uh, breaks the cells into kind of this black and white box and colorizes the background a little bit. Some of my more daring students will pick Format, Style Sheet, Creative, Primary Color. Ooh, to me that looks a little garish. I think a good compromise that many students use is Format, Style, Creative, Natural Color. Yeah, that looks pretty nice. So Style Sheets, Cells, Mathematica notebooks, these are all kind of the basics of how to work in Mathematica.